Good morning, guys. We are up and out already this morning. It is Tuesday. We've already dropped the kids off and we're headed to the gym. It's a new routine we've been trying to get into. It's been kind of hard getting started because just stuff has been coming up. But we're making time this morning. We're going to go to the gym. And then uh, I have to get a haircut today. You guys have probably seen all that. So we're uh, spending the whole morning out and about today. Kathy's going to go sourcing while I'm getting my haircut. It is a little bit uh, further up north of town. And we have... Um, a goodwill that Kathy likes to go to up there while I get my hair cut. So yeah, we're gonna go head to the gym right now and then we'll check back in a little bit later with you. <laughs> All right, so we finished up at the gym and we're headed up north. And of course, me being the dingus that I am, I forgot my gym shoes. <laughs> so I had to drop Kathy off at the gym, run back home, go get my shoes. So she was able to uh, lift some weights and stuff. And then we just did cardio together, got showered, and we're about to go, uh, I guess, drop me off to get my hair cut. But uh, we're going to get a coffee on the way. So today's coffee is actually sponsored by Steven. Steven bought us a coffee to thank us for the spreadsheet. And Steven, we do appreciate that support. And we're going to get a coffee right now. Thank you, Steven. Yeah, thanks. And Kathy's coffee of choice is a vanilla sweet cream cold brew. So I'm going to go with a smaller one since yeah. I just went to the gym. Yeah, got to go easy. <laughs> Thankfully, but, uh, it's, a, it's a low count. I do have to put my order in, so we'll be right back. All right, guys. So I got cut off because they were taking our order. I just got a grande or no, no, a tall, right? <laughs> A tall iced white mocha. That's baby one. that's my drink of choice. I know it's like super high in calories. So I went with no whipped cream because I'm a good boy today. <laughs> anyway, we are here. I'm just a few minutes early for my hair appointment, but I'm going to go in, let Kathy head off to, you're going to go to the Goodwill up in Monument. Yeah, just a few miles up the road. Yeah. So I'm trying to just look for shoes. And we actually went to this location on Friday. So we'll yeah. Visit. Tuesday. Actually, well, we still have this. No, that we brought that in today. They should have. Um, I mean, I feel like they put new stuff every day. So, right. Hopefully, I can find. I would love to find 15 pairs of shoes, but that will probably be pushing it. That would, so. yeah, yeah. Right now, it is. It's just now 12 o'clock. So, like the day's like half gone already. <laughs> so, but yeah, we do have. I don't know. You said like five or six sales to pull. So. Yeah, I made a couple more at the gym. Okay. So get those so, printed cool. out when we get home. Yeah, we'll go home, pull those, show you guys those, see what Kathy had found. And then that's pretty much going to be it. Time to get the boys because <laughs> this day's flying. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, just got done with the new haircut. I think it looks good. Actually, um, my hair, uh, my barber just moved to a different place, and it's actually in the same parking lot as this building, which this building has some significance to us, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is actually where we had our wedding reception. It's now a church. It was not a church when we... Just like um, a thing that you could rent out for parties. Yeah, it was like a venue. It was called The Place. <laughs> so, so original. But we're uh, we're going to show you what Kathy found. I haven't seen it yet. So what did you find while I was well, getting... I found 14 pairs, not 15. Oh. I actually found like 30 pairs. But as I was like going through them looking for damage or comps or whatever, I put most of them back. Plus, I was rushing because I had to get back here. So I spent $135.03 uh, for 14 pairs. That's less than $10 a pair, which is perfect. Yeah. I like to be right at that $10 mark. Obviously, I'd rather be less, but in Colorado, that's hard to come by. Yeah. Uh, so, let's start with the just okay stuff. These are Lucky Brand, which um, you kind of don't really even pick up that much anymore. Mm -hmm. These specifically, I did because they basically look brand new. Yeah, those look and really those nice. And those are my size, so I was like, eh, if they don't. So I'll just keep them. <laughs> I expect them to just sell them for like hopefully $30 plus shipping, which would be like a $15 profit. Uh, these are just some Crocs. They need to be thrown in the wash or something, but otherwise good shape. Uh, these obviously brought my cost of goods down because these are only priced at $2.99. They're women six. Those will sell probably $25 to $30. Some basic sketchers, bread and butter. Uh, these will sell right around 30 plus ship. These I almost put back at the end, but like they're hoka, so I do. Hoka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
They're a little worn right here, like you can see right here, right there. Yeah. But like the the deep tread parts are really good still, which I think is the most important part. But then at the very end, I saw that. But then oh, I looked yeah. up comps, and I saw some like way more terrible shape ones for like thirty-five dollars. Um, that were like completely bald on the bottom, and like these were all peeling up, and they still sold. So I was like, I'll just give them a chance. I still think I can get at least fifty dollars out of these. some adidas wrestling men's shoes these are a size 12. i tried to record in there but there's a thousand people and <laughs> i'm just embarrassed to hold the i didn't have like a gopro so i i didn't want to hold the phone and try to like grab shoes while people are grabbing <laughs> them all around me uh these are that earth spirit so i don't know these sell so well for me i yeah. think these will sell right around 30 dollars, 25 to 30 and like within a week and if they don't, I'll be very surprised. Airplane just came out of nowhere. <sighs> yeah, right by the Air Force Academy. Yeah. Uh, these are some Brooks but Gore-Tex, so that was neat. Oh, these are a, oh shoot, I didn't even see I was rushing. Thankfully, it's not all the way faded uh, men's eight, but the tags on Brooks often get like faded completely to where, you know, like they Like rubbed off, it, yeah. You know? Oh yeah, so then you can't read the numbers. Thankfully, I can read them. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Uh, found some Paul Green. Just like a little slip on a wedge. Uh, these will probably, these might go for like 50 plus just because Paul Green retails for so much. And they're in really good shape. Uh, I don't know the conversion because these are a size six, but UK, I think it's like an eighth US, but I'm not positive. Okay. This has become one of my favorite brands. This style's not the best, but still grabbed them. They're uh, that Naote. These right. also retail for a ton. These probably retail for like $180. I think the style, uh, some of them I get like 50 to 60 out of. These probably more like 35, 40. Got these Skechers. I mainly just bought these because they were camo and camo anything usually does well. I think I can get 30 out of them. Just like a sneaker, men's 12. Got some Converse. I'm pretty picky on Converse, but these were in good shape. The rubber's so easy to wipe down. Yeah. The treads are really good still. Those like are a, a... Almost look like a suede at first, but it's a canvas. Yeah, yeah. it's canvas. So it men's like eight, a, women's 10. I really like the laces, the yeah, burgundy. Yeah, corded lace. This is a like, nice color for fall and stuff, so. These Clark sandals, mainly just because they were in really good shape, and purple was 30% off, so these are like $5. I was trying to bring my average cost down because a few of these were like $12.99. Mm -hmm. So these are probably 25 to 30. They are women's 11, which is a good size. And got some Cole Han, Grand OS, Oxford. These usually sell 40 to 50. These are a size eight and a half men's. And lastly, one of my favorites to find, <laughs> Anu. <laughs> Anu. Really, really good shape, too. Uh, these are a women's eight and a half, so these usually sell for 50, sometimes a little more. So, pretty good stop for like an hour. Yeah. I uh, got almost my whole, I said I wanted to find 15 because that's how many I list every single day. Right. Um, I mean, I already have listings that are going to go up today that are not these anyways. Right. But, you know, it's always nice when you can find all your listings in one store at one time. Yeah. So that's why, like, sometimes, even though some of these aren't the best, like these, I was already there. I'm going to make profit off them. So even though it might be, like, $10 profit, that's better than no profit, you know? Right. I was already there. This is only going to take an extra five minutes out of my day to list them up. So that's how I see, see it. <laughs> Absolutely. Very, very nice. You know, do you feel it starting to rain? <laughs> I no. keep feeling a raindrop, but all right. So yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna probably go pick up some lunch. It's about quarter after one. Yes, Say lunch. goodbye yeah. to our bye -bye. old- <laughs> Building. Bye-bye building. <laughs> yeah, what do you call it? Our reception hall? I don't know. But uh, this used to be kind of our stomping grounds up in Glen Eagle, Colorado Springs area. So Nice place. We should try to get some just driving yeah. on the way back because yeah, so nice. Got the mountains over there. We got our UPS friends over there. <laughs> so 
But yeah, we're gonna go get some lunch and then um, pull orders and then probably yeah, get our kids. pull some orders and then it's about <laughs> to be time to get the kids. So we'll see you guys there. Alright, so we uh, just had some lunch, had some tacos, Taco Tuesday, <laughs> uh, got some all over my shirt. <laughs> and Kathy really wanted to get another pair of shoes, at least to have 15 <laughs> for tomorrow or the next day or whenever. Um, so we're going to hit, well, Kathy's going to run into this uh, little thrift store. It's really just my excuse to, to go here. <laughs> <laughs> excuse, yeah, it's work. So. I don't get to go here often and it's kind of on the way back It's kind of on the way, house, so. yeah. We have a little bit of time. It's a very small store and like their shoes are kind of overpriced. So if I can find one, I'll be very happy. So hopefully in three seconds, you'll see what she found. Yeah, let's time me. Look, it's 2.11. 2.11. I'll be right out. All right. Okay, bye. <laughs> and holy crap, she snuck <laughs> up on me. <laughs> uh, it is now 2, 2.18. So I think she got here 2.17. Six minutes. That's Six minutes. Um, Maybe five pairs, minutes. But <laughs> Two pairs. Uh, what do you got? But these are nice Sorrel boots. I did pay $25 for them, but other than like needing a wipe down, they're yeah. pretty good. Like these are really good shape. These are probably gonna sell for like close to $100. And then just grab some sass. These are a women six and a half wide. Really good shape. I pass on a lot of sass. These, because of the condition and just like the style and that they're a wide width, yeah. I grabbed them. Sweet. I got 16 pairs So we now. got 16 in case one of them has something going on. Yeah. We'll be good. All right, let's 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 get home and start pulling some orders. Yes. All right, we're back. Reese is feeling better today. <laughs> He's responding. Feeling a little younger today, Bubba? <laughs> He's still sleeping, though. <laughs> but we do have about 20 or 15 <laughs> minutes to pull our sails for the day. What was the final tricky. count? I don't know. Most of these are not. There's nothing like amazing right. today. So if you want to tune out, go ahead. <laughs> uh, don't yeah. tune out. This is the good stuff. Of sales is yeah. just like a lot of them were 50 percent off. Some of them are kids' clothes. Yeah. So. Uh, I did sell two more bundles on Kitazin. This first one was a crew cut shirt. It just says Jolly on it, and then this one is the brand B and the Fox, and it says Love Your Mother. Um, I sold these together as a bundle, $25 free shipping. Shipping was $4.50. I know I paid $16 for this shirt. Again, these are things that our kids wore and we're just making money back on them. Right. So basically, I paid $16 for this. After shipping and fees, I'm making back $16 or $17. So like, whatever I paid for this, I'm technically losing that money, but right. it's all good. Happy to make $16 back on some shirts. One. I mean, this one has like a little stain right there and everything. And actually they both have stains on them too. So I mean, yeah. that's a really- They're both in use neat. condition. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then this bundle is both peak shirts. This one is just like an American bison, has some like facts and stuff on it. And that one's just like a pie hoodie. It's also peak brand. These two sold as a bundle for $40 with free shipping. Uh, this one was a little heavier. So $6.50 is what the shipping costs and then making the rest back to our pocket, Do another shipping hit mailer, cool. Speaking so of shipping hit, did their uh, their Halloween ones drop, yeah? Yes, they dropped. I haven't ordered mine yet, No. But <laughs> we've been running while well, you guys see Yeah, we've been out running all day. After the video, I really haven't had a second yet. All right, um, this is just a men's North Face t-shirt. New tag, bought for $7 retail arbitrage, sold for 21 plus shipping. Hey. I don't know if you saw, but I had two more of the exact same as well. So when those sell, this was about like $9, 90 something cents profit. So if they all sell for a, about that amount, I'll, a $30 profit yeah. over the three shirts, one listing. So not too bad. We'll do a that mailer. Okay, CI, some Adidas shoes. The sleepy boy. You feeling better? Yeah. You can stay. You can stay. Don't get him all <laughs> up. Uh, sold these Adidas sneakers. Bought them at a yard sale this summer for five. Sold for twenty nine plus shipping on eBay. Those are gonna go out in a shoe box. All right. 
cute. And then uh, this morning when we were at the gym, I put on a Facebook sale, just 15% off anything listed. And I did get two sales today from that, so hey. that's nice. First one was these little baby Crocs, bought for $5.99, sold on Facebook, $17.85 plus shipping. So about a $10 profit there. Very nice. Yeah. I'm trying to think if these were... First class? The Facebook always cuts off like the ounces or whatever. Oh yeah. I don't know if I did eight ounce or... If I did 16 ounce, I'd grab a little box that we have in the closet, but I think I did eight ounce on that. So poly mailer it is. CT. This was the other Facebook sale. Pair of men's Under Armour golf shorts. Bought for $5.94. Sold for $18.70 plus shipping. Do you know these mailers? Okay, B.O. Some kid Birkenstocks. These got it once upon a child a few days ago for two dollars eighty cents. It's a random amount because like I always have twenty percent off and they price these little ones at like three fifty. So gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> he gave me a weird look. All right, and then these sold for twenty five dollars plus shipping. I think this was on Mercari. I know I printed this label out last night. Did I give you a weird look? I feel like you did. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't trying to. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I, I just have a weird face, I guess. He's like doing this suspicious, like. I could like, be looking at the light levels. And <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, one of these. You can see, I had another one as well. And then I have another one. This is a size extra small, so it's that one. And then I have an extra large in our inventory somewhere. Bought them all retail arbitrage for 15. This is the first one to sell. It sold for 47 plus shipping on Mercari. Hey. It was a, a good deal. That's the brand Carrie Troth. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but this is like a wool sweater. So that's why it sold for a good amount. I think it retails over a hundred. I'm just happy to get 47. Oh, we'll get a bigger mailer on that. It's kind of large. AP. This is just men's Helly Hansen, like an athletic short. Bought these on Facebook Marketplace when they had free shipping way back when. That was a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, these took forever. So these were in our 50% off eBay sale, and I'm only making like a dollar or two profit. So I, I paid eight for them and got free shipping on Facebook, and then I just sold them for $14.98 plus shipping. So after the fees, yeah, probably like a $2 profit there. So didn't lose money. Yeah. Uh, I definitely thought they'd sell about... $25 or so plus shipping and fairly quickly, but that did not happen. So. Yeah, and that's kind of the whole idea with the 50% off sale. Like yeah. if it's taken that long, 50% off is usually at least breaking even. We're usually not gonna lose any money on 50% off. The way Kathy sources. Yeah, the way I source, I yeah. know I'm gonna at least double my money, right. which means if you're putting it on 50% off, you're probably gonna break even. And we had recently been talking about maybe trying to tag stuff as seasonal items because yeah. Kathy will buy and list stuff off season. And if that is, you know, happens to be right after the season, we miss the window. We don't want to put on 50 percent off because yeah. we were kind of expecting. So I'm going to I'm going to mess around with that a little bit and figure out a, a good way. And then I am going to put a video out on how. Um, we're going to handle that in the future. Yeah, because so. we always get the question, like, if you find snow boots in the right. summer, would you list them? Normally, yes. Yeah. But if we're doing this sale, like, forever, which right. it seems like we kind of want to, then it doesn't How do we sense exclude those? Because then those... it's going to hit 50% off when they should start selling at normal price. So, yeah. Yeah, I ended a few in the car today that I saw were in our sale, but I'm like, no, those should probably sell yeah. for a little more. Um, I'll drop the price a little bit from my original price, but... They mm -hmm. should sell for more than the 50% off. And another thing we could always do is just end and then relist, and yeah. then that will start that eBay time listed clock Which over. Which is what I'm doing with all the yeah. old stuff that I don't really want to go 50% right. off yet. But stuff like this, this one also went 50% off. I'm okay with that. 
It's just a men's Hurley shirt. I've sold a few already. Paid $5 each for these. This one ended up selling $9.98 plus shipping. So again, a dollar or two profit. That's okay. And lastly, box O is a Prana dress. A lot of retail arbitrage items today. Sweet. With tag, bought for 10, sold for $24.97 plus ship. That did end up in our sale, so still more than doubling my money, even with a big sale running. So I will take it. Very nice. <laughs> So I think we'll quickly pack these up. Uh, I have about five minutes before we need to leave, so that should be no problem. We'll get these done real quick. We'll be right back. All right, took us four minutes, pretty quick. I love it when it's all just poly mailers. Yeah, we had one box, but so easy. pretty quick. So yeah, obviously no other sales came in during that short time. <laughs> Reese is still over there snoozing. I'm glad he's feeling better. I was kind of getting a little worried about him yesterday, oh, but his eyes are starting. Like, yeah, he's definitely probably only has a year. It's so sad to say that. Love yeah, he does have a weird, like a little thing on his eye. It doesn't really bother him, yeah. so we haven't done anything about oh, it. Like our other dogs but that pass, they pass. They get the glazy, the glazed eyes, like kind of like cataracts. cataracts or something, yeah, and they fall past kind of shortly after. Yeah, that, so I'm sad. But yeah, he's had a good life. Hey, we still got many years, right, Reese? I don't know about years. Hopefully, another <laughs> right, year at least, baby boy. I don't want you to be. You want a treat? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that boy, a treat. Do you want one or two? Two. <laughs> See it? Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's gonna do it. We gotta head off i'm gonna take the stuff off to the post office pick the kids up from school and then that's gonna be it pretty much for the day kathy's still gonna get her listings up i am gonna edit and put this video out today so that's what we're working on this evening guys thank you so much for coming along with us today on our running our errands with us <laughs> so we did have fun and guys thanks again for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out if you have not yet and we'll have more videos like this coming out soon Thanks again, and we will see you all in the next one. Bye.